<laughs> you start this episode the same way every time. Hey guys, game out here. Sorry. Sorry, good morning. Good morning, guys. CJR here, and as always, I'm joined by. Today, we are back out garage selling. We are headed right now to a um, town-wide garage sale in a small town just outside of where we live. And then we're headed back to our main area where there's a ton of garage sales listed today. We had quite a bit of rain last weekend, so a lot of people didn't have their sales and pushed it to this weekend. There is a ton of street sales, community sales, town-wide sales, multi-family sales today. Uh, I think I put over 50 different locations on my list. I think there was 140 sales listed on uh, Kijiji. And well, there's probably about 200 sales today in the greater Kitchener-Waterloo area. So anyways, we're on our way to our first sale. interested but, uh, we'll uh, maybe we'll go down to that sale while you look for the sounds good stuff? Okay. sounds good we'll be right back how are you good how are you good. we're looking for old video game stuff you wouldn't happen to have any old that's all I got oh cool any like old Nintendo stuff Game no. Boy anything like that no okay no what are you asking on this thing I don't know we're just I've had it for years and years it's I used to play it when I was a teen. So right. It works. It you can turn it on if you want. I just wanted to see it. Yeah. Uh, I don't really need to open it, I guess. I just want to see it. A lot of times people leave batteries in these forever and they get corroded. That looks good. Yeah, I think I have a football version of this. Take a couple bucks for it? Sure. Okay. Check that out, Andrew. Teddy will like that. It's it's pretty fun. I uh, that was my video, my right. Game Boy. Right. Yeah. Up. I I I had a couple of those too. My mom's like, I'm not paying that much for a Game Boy. No. Get you one of these little LCD games. Yeah. That's they are right. a lot of fun though. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Okay. No problem. Let me see if I find it. Okay. Because I know I got a. About ten, at least ten of them from the first party. Yeah, we can wait. We're no hurry. I don't want to pressure yet. To <laughs> what is that? That's a little baseball game. I just oh, picked okay. up down the street. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. About six or eight more of this. That you can't find. Okay. I have no idea what they are. Um. Okay. Well, I can offer you can offer you a hundred bucks for everything except for this stuff. Um, hundred and twenty? Would you throw in just these two games? I think these are the only two I need. Sounds good. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if I leave my number, would you give me a call if you find any more of those games? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just awesome. Sure. Okay, two big scores here mixed up amongst this stuff. Um, 
went to a sale, asked if they had games. The guy mentioned an old Nintendo. He looked around for it forever. I thought we were wasting our time. We were there for like 20 minutes while he looked. So then I was finally like, okay, we're gonna go hit these sales and come back. When I came back, he had this sitting on the table. Lucky we came back earlier than we said because it was just sitting out and somebody could have come up and scooped it. So we picked up this and then he also had a PS3, two controllers and a huge stack of games. So I paid 120 for that stuff. I had to pay it quite a bit for this, but in order to get me this, but once I sell all that off, that stuff should probably be free. Then made a really nice deal. I know hopefully you guys saw this. Picked up a uh, Guitar Hero or Rock Band bundle with two guitars and the drums. And then this whole thing, you can see right here, it said $2 per game or 15 for the entire lot, including the stand. And there's some good stuff in here. Look at that score. Um, so really nice deal for less than probably, that's probably 50 cents each on those games. Hey, I found him on the they can't see us at the side. Watch out, guys. You're going to be the first one. Where are you going to, Andrew? That one. That one. Oh, the break room has one of those. Yeah, look, who's this guy there? Who's that guy? No. Rebel. So I'm gonna ask my dad if I can get it. Are you gonna get this guy? No. Okay, what do you think? I course they want. Want it? Oh yeah. So do we know if it works? Mm. If you take two dollars, then sure. Sold. What one do you think I should drink? The Hot Wheels pack? The Hot Wheels pack? You think I should get the Hot Wheels pack? Isn't that funny? You're trying to move the little guy. We're back in there. Let's go over here, guys. Hey, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Take care of it. That's okay. Um, yeah, your wife was saying that you don't even know if it really works. Yeah, I... Which is not I a big deal. I can... Work. Yeah. Nintendo did work the last time. The connections still... are here. I got TV That's right okay. I can oh. depend... I can offer you 30 bucks for everything. Okay, just scored pretty big. Um, I haven't had time to make videos. I've just been grabbing these pickups. Hopefully, I'm picking it up on the camera. Andrew Cam has been missing stuff because he's been focusing on toys for himself. <laughs> uh, but we just picked up a huge Nintendo score again. Very nice deal for uh, 30 bucks. NES with a bunch of games, controllers. Uh, we will go through everything obviously when we get home. There's another guy out here hunting for games. I asked if they had any video games and she said, yes, my husband has some, but uh, he's not home. So I actually convinced her to give him a call and he came back to pull them out of the basement. So. Um, pretty amazing like always I say I push pretty hard but still keep it friendly and uh, try my best not to come off as, as too pushy but uh, it worked I'm always very thankful thank you for calling him thank you I appreciate you pulling it out kind of thing and uh, that seems to work so 30, 30 bucks for that stuff uh, very good deal it's been a pretty good day so far forgot that I also picked up this little uh, electronic baseball game I think probably from the early to mid 80s I could be wrong, LCD baseball game from Radio Shack. $2 on that, seems like a pretty fun game. It's in good shape, so nice little pickup there. We are on to the next sale. right around there. It might be a you little big for him right now. I was going to say, you have to that's probably, probably Here's the yeah. move the seat up, maybe put a phone There's, book behind yes, him. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's Ted. great. Ted. 
Can you drive that big wheel over to the car? Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah. That's the big wheel. Yeah. Okay, so that was a pretty awesome little town-wide garage sale. I don't think I've ever actually been out there. Uh, we scored pretty big out there, so that's great. It's now quarter to nine. We were hoping to be out of there by quarter to eight to come back to the city, but we got tied up because people were digging stuff out, but uh, definitely worth it. There was another guy out there hunting for games, so to get that stuff under his nose is pretty awesome. Um, oh, on the way out from that sale, I picked up a bunch of good stuff. I don't know if you guys saw it. Hopefully caught it on Andrew camera, my camera, but I picked up a really nice TV for like 15 bucks and a $5 big wheel for a little boy on my street, which he's gonna love. Uh, what else did we pick up? Anything else? Andrew, you wanna show what you got? This? Yeah. Couple of bionicle Lego things. And I Teddy got. didn't get nothing. Where'd you get? I got this helicopter and I got a G.I. Joe. Oh yeah, the G.I. Joe APC. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so we're on to the next sale. Actually we're already at the next sale. <laughs> Matt, you know I have two of those in my room. Not me. Matt, I have two big ones. I kind of want to. I want game stuff. Matt, I've got two of those in my room. Yeah, you? Mm -hmm. Should I ask? Yeah. But how do I get that home? I'll get to you later. Okay. Yeah? On tomorrow? How much do you think I should buy? So much of it? That's it. Should I ask what you need? Okay, yeah, no, I'll give it. Okay, thanks, man. I don't know what's wrong. Is the system hiding somewhere? No, there's no system. Oh, okay. My mom has it. Which is broke. Um, I don't, it's kind of my brother, so I didn't want to. I better go check it out. Yeah. Um, I'm Having like a little robot type guy? I didn't, I didn't, no, I didn't. Not the robot. Yeah. That's from the robot. Because I see Jaromite. What's that? That's one of those discs. For Rob, yeah. Duck Hunt was the best. Yeah, it still is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know what's all they in there. Still but play, they still play it. Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah, we've got, an old, we've got an old TV that we play with. Oh, play cool. With. That's sweet. Yeah, unfortunately, the system my mom had, I think it was broken, but. It wasn't there. I just took it out now. So. Uh, oh, I don't know if I can get one. Yeah, yeah I'll figure it out. Thank you. Sweet, awesome. Yeah. See Thanks you, so much. Okay, so update. I was able to convince this girl to go look for her Nintendo. There was no Nintendo, but all the cables and two, four, six, eight games. Uh, the disappointing thing is there's a disc from uh, Gyromite. So who knows if they had a rob at some point. Really cool case, so I gotta get this thing fixed up. Uh, 20 bucks for that stuff. And uh, what else did I pick up? Oh, picked up this stack of games here for three bucks. And Goldie equipment in good shape. I just asked the guy, kind of curious, there's a trapper, a blocker, and then the pads are in here. I just asked him, kind of curious, what he wanted. And he said 20 bucks. Like, these are legit. Um, hockey pads, not road hockey. We'll probably use them for road hockey or I might flip them, but good deal. And he threw in a stick. Okay, so my wife, there's a community sale in the area that we live. So my wife's been looking for games and the, she's been calling saying what they have and what she bought. And the name, I don't think she does a very good job of reading sometimes. So, so far she said, instead, she said La Noir instead of LA Noir. Secret Agent Clark. 
don't know what else there was. What was the other one? I don't know what else there was. Oh, you gotta remember, what was the other one? 64, right, okay. Yeah. What do I know? Yeah, I mean, I to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I started with like the original Nintendo. I had an Atari twenty six hundred, yeah. but I think this was even a little bit before that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I don't. This is what blows me away. Was yeah. there was games on cassette tapes? Yeah, and that's we have so a cool. player here. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. neat. The yeah. entire Commodore Vic twenty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any idea what you would want I for have it? No you idea. probably wouldn't know if it I, I works tell or. We got a, We would have to research it. On, you know, my grandson does that for me. Yeah, I've got yeah. some old albums, so I just email and say, "What can you see? What this is?" Uh, stuff but half them are empty I'm looking for look go around here I'm looking for a crash team racing this right I did I want I want three for that so she wants three for the books Uh, give me 20 for them all. We'll, we have a deal. I can't tell you how much we paid for all personal all live. That's probably like $500 worth of games right there. <laughs> so. For 10, I'll just grab them, but for 20, I've got to. Yeah, sure. Go with you can probably resell them for more than 100 bucks, 200 bucks. Okay, so this. Alright, that was 20 with that. Uh, no, she wants 3 bucks for that. Can you do 20 for everything? Uh, Andrea, <laughs> he wants to give us 20 for all this stuff, including your book. You do what you want, Jane, go for sure. it. Sure. All right, good. Okay. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, guys, it is extremely hot. It's only 10.30. feels like we've been out here for 10 hours. Mm-hmm. Just made a nice pickup here of a bunch of random stuff that was laying in a bin. Uh, I thought it was going to be in rough shape, but not too bad. A huge mix of 360 PS two ps1 and one random d or a couple ds games in there but a pretty good deal and a graphic novel in there that i'm pretty excited about i offered 10 they uh they took 20 20 bucks for that stuff so not a bad deal It takes batteries. What? This is the battery one. Yeah. I don't understand. How does the clip release on this one? I see the one again. Usually there's, oh, there, okay. No, that's not how yeah. you get it out. How do you get it out? There's usually like little buttons, but. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. What do you guys want for that? Two dollars. Okay. Hmm. You wouldn't by chance have any old video game stuff, would you? Old video game yeah, stuff? Yeah, we're looking for like old Game Boy, Nintendo, mm-hmm. Super Nintendo. Um, N64. No, but we do. There's a guy that lives here. Okay. 
Okay. That sells stuff like that. He's at the market today, though. Like, oh. he works. Peter? Yes. Um, he lives. Right. Okay. So. So. Um, okay. He's not home right now, but. We'll take that. Okay. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, sweaty Matt's going to work. See you later. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Thanks for all the help today. Hey, I, and my picture, uh, get, get it to me when I'll see you tomorrow. Check out Matt's channel to see what he got in the yeah, description below. See what I got today, I got spent like 350 okay. Okay, bye. See you soon, guys. Here we are back in the game room. We've got a mountain of video game stuff to get through. Today ended up being a really good day. That early community sale that we went to uh, turned out to be in an area that I've never hit before. Uh, there was another guy who was looking for video games. I actually heard him asking. But we still were able to get a ton of stuff. Then we quickly went back to the city and uh, we actually didn't get very far this uh, today because there was just so many sales. I'll bet you that we only covered maybe 20% of the sales in our area today. So I'm assuming that there were other people out there that did really well. I'll have to check out on Instagram to see how everyone else in my area did, but I wouldn't be surprised if everybody had a good day. There was just a ton of sales. So um, yeah, lots of good retro stuff. Left my number with a few people that I will most likely never hear back from. Um, and then some newer stuff too, but some really good stuff here. And uh, I've been getting some really good trade credits at uh, Games Exchange in Kitchener. So feel free to go check out Games Exchange in Kitchener. Uh, so I'm gonna start by getting this guy out of the way. Um, actually, you know what I might do is get that TV out of the way. I picked up this TV here. This is actually one of my better TV pickups. Um, Okay, so what do we got here? This is a Samsung, 32 inch, I believe. Uh, 32, that sounds about right. I think, yeah, 32 inch, I think, I don't know. 28, I don't know. It's bigger than my normal 13 inch pickups. And uh, it was 20 bucks with this and uh, a big wheel that I bought for a little boy that lives on my street. So 20 bucks for those two things, basically 15 bucks for this TV. I will bump out one of my smaller ones and uh, put this guy in because it's really, really nice. Uh, dual HDMI inputs, which is helpful. So good deal there for 15 bucks. Older couple, I'm really not worried about it working at all. Uh, so picked up this stack of games. Hopefully you guys saw it on the video, but it said $2 each or 15 for the whole rack with the rack. I actually have one of these racks already, so I uh, may put this one beside it. I don't know. Um, actually, I keep my like currently playing games on that rack over there the stuff that i'm act actively playing which lately i haven't been playing anything so um this one might go beside that or maybe i'll see if matt needs this anyways whole bunch of games on here i also got a full uh rock band set with uh two guitars microphone drums and the games for 15 bucks so uh 25 i offered for both and he took it so 25 bucks for that stuff is a great deal considering um there's some interesting stuff here Okay, we'll start with these Wii games. I'm uh, pretty happy to see this Big Brain Academy Wii degree. I actually don't see that too often. Uh, Wii Sports Resort, great games to keep uh, for bundles and flipping uh, Wii bundles. Uh, we've got Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. This is X-Men Next Dimension. This is an X-Men fighting game. I don't believe I have this for my collection. Here is a loose copy of Wolfenstein. We've got Mech Assault, Project Gotham Racing 2, Rainbow Six Three, Black Arrow. I don't think I have that either. This is a copy of, um, a pre-owned copy mm. of Halo 2. $53.99, this seal was not broken, it is now. So somebody bought this and never actually played it. They bought it used and they seal it when you buy it used. Uh, this is Marvel Rise, Marvel Nemesis, Marvel Nemesis, I've been up since like 5 a.m. Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I don't think I actually have that either. This is turning out to be a really good bundle. Uh, this stack of games here is really impressive. Um, Spider-Man 2. This is a copy of Knights of the Old Republic. These are in like mint condition too. Uh, KOTOR, loved playing this game back in the day. Uh, X-Men Legends. 
and probably the best pickup of the day. We've got uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I own this already, but the copy that I have is uh, doesn't have the manual. So this is a nice, clean, complete copy that will be going in my collection, and I'll trade off the uh, one without the manual. A couple PS3 games. We've got Buzz Quiz TV, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, Injustice Gods Among Us. I'll be keeping that. Uh, GTA 5. My Roman numerals are absolutely terrible. Five, yeah, five. No, four. Four or five. My God, man, get it together. Four, that's GTA 4. Motorstorm, love that game. Uh, a couple PC games here. I think these are trash, because I pretty much, you have to use a code for these, I believe. Uh, Batman, Lego Batman 2, Lego Batman Super Heroes, Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Origins. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't take a real good look at these games. Uh, we've got Wii Fit and Wii Play. Uh, two good ones here. Uh, Super Paper Mario and Mario uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Still waiting on that Nintendo Switch uh, Galaxy uh, remastered double pack. I, yeah, so I didn't even realize these were there. And then uh, Wii Sports. And then for PS3, we've got two SingStar games. And I believe there was a microphone. might have been a SingStar microphone in the bag as well. So, yeah. And then two SingStar PS2 games. We've got SingStar Rocks and SingStar Amped. So, fantastic deal uh, for 25 bucks with two really good condition cars. The drums. They even had everything there, like the... Uh, the drumsticks, everything was there. Really clean, too. So for 25 bucks, that may end up being one of the better deals of the day. Um, okay. My wife actually picked up this stack of games here. She went out. There was a community sale in uh, our neighborhood area. So we left early this morning. So I asked her if she could go hit a few sales here. Now, her pronunciations on these games are absolutely hilarious. So Matt was laughing his butt off. So she called L.A. Noir because I, I asked her, I'm like, oh, what games are there? And she goes, the first one she said was La Noir. <laughs> La Noir and uh, Secret Agent Clark <laughs> instead of Secret Agent Clank. So and then she called this uh, the legendary Star Star Fry. That wasn't that far off. This is the Legendary Starfy. This is actually a really cool game. Legendary Starfy, Mario Kart DS, uh, Super Scribble Knots. This is Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Miniland Mayhem. I don't think I actually have that. And Mario 64 DS. I think she said uh, these four were 10, and then the Mario Super Mario 60, 64 DS was two bucks. And then she got this stack of Wii games here for 10 bucks. Um, order up, copy of Mario Kart, MLB Power Pros, which I'll be adding to the collection if I don't have, love the Power Pros games, NHL 2K9, Go Diego Go, they're all complete, Epic Mickey, Hell's Kitchen the Game, that's got to be amazing. I wonder if that's like Cooking Mom, but more realistic. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Cosmic Family Learn Through Play. I have never heard of this game. Cosmic Family Learn Through Play. Like an educational game, maybe? I don't know. This is The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Midway title. Let me know if this is any good. It's got a pretty cool um, cell shaded graphic art style. NHL Slapshot, Guitar Hero World Tour. Oh, wait a minute. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Monster 4x4 World Circuit. Uh, so yeah, all those for 10 bucks. Uh, decent deal there. I picked up a huge Lego set for the boys. I don't think I got this one on camera. Some Arctic Lego set that's probably retails for like 120 bucks. It was open, but it looked like it was complete. I actually had a couple more sets stuffed inside. Asked what they wanted for that. They said they were uh, looking for 20 bucks. They had a bin full of loose DS games. So I said, would you do 20 for the both? Which uh, they obviously did. 
Here are some Leapfrog games. I'm going to go through those, but it's a bunch of loose games here. We got Lego Batman, DC Super Heroes 2, Lego Batman 2, Jake Power, Policeman, Scooby-Doo and the Spooky Swamp, uh, Scooby-Doo First Frights, Bakugan, Bakugan, The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I think those two are probably pretty good trade another bakugan game neopets puzzle adventure from what i remember that's a pretty good puzzle game and ben 10 protector of the earth so decent little lot of loose ds games picked up this electronic baseball game this is a radio shack two-player professional league baseball in really nice condition. Uh, Tandy, made by Tandy, but uh, sold through Radio Shock. I actually don't see a date anywhere, but I would guess like early to mid 80s probably. Uh, pretty cool. It'll go in my LCD game collection. Uh, I paid $2 for that. A um, couple random Wii games here. I'm not sure exactly why I even bought these, but uh, M&M's Kart Racer and Monster Trucks Mayhem. I think that one we already got. Uh, three bucks for those two. Okay, so this was an interesting lot. Uh, approach to sale, there was a box, and there was just games all over the place. It was a huge mess. Uh, I wasn't expecting to find anything in there worth buying, but... Got this whole stack here. So for 20 bucks, picked up this uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, uh, graphic novel. Pretty happy to add this to the collection. I, I like collecting the the more like graphic novel style or like, I don't know, like a compendium of you know, 10 to 20 issues of a comic book instead of buying individual books. So pretty happy to have that. For 20 bucks, I got that and then this stack of games. So we've got Battleburg Castle Chaos. I don't know. Cannons and Catapults Collide. PS1 game. I definitely don't have that. Another one I don't have is Board Game Top Shop. Really interesting Agitech title. Uh, I believe these were like budget titles. Vertical Board Game. Interesting. I gotta try this out. Um, I'm positive I don't have this. These were never played. You can tell when they're so tight. I take that back. That's a little scuffed up. Uh, not too bad. I just thought usually when they're that tight, they haven't been even taken out much. Yeah, that one's mint. Uh, then we've got All Star Racing and Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Okay, uh, Resistance Retribution on the PSP. Complete and in great condition. This is actually a pretty fun game. I think it got uh, crapped on at the time, but uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit from what I remember. Interesting one here. Pretty positive I don't have this in my PS2 collection. This is Thunderstrike Operation Phoenix for the PS2. Complete, I believe, in eh, it's in decent condition. Not discuss. Uh, an Xbox game, I believe, I'm I, pretty positive I don't have this one. This is uh, Enclave. We've got Ski Doo Snowmobile Challenge on the 360. Pretty positive I don't have that. As I said before, I'm going for a uh, complete 360 collection. This is Afro Samurai in this cool, uh, I don't know, collector's edition case. Maybe not. Maybe that's just a normal slip cover. But uh, this one's in really nice shape. So I'll probably be swapping this one out with mine because I'm pretty sure I do have that. But some good 360 stuff here. Full Auto, fantastic game. You'll see, yeah, you'll see another Full Auto here in a, in a bit. Face Breaker, this game was like notorious for being on sale at EB for like $4 for years. Um, interesting pickup here. I'm not sure if this is going for much, but this is like the last portable hockey game, portable NHL game to ever release as far as I know. Uh, this is NHL 07 for the PSP. Um, and I, as far as I know, there's no more handheld hockey games that were ever produced after this. And this is a pretty good version of uh, NHL hockey back on the PSP. Somebody hooked me up with that, so let me know in the comments if it was you or forget. 
Uh, this is Ridge Racer DS, and I am nearly positive that I do not have that in my collection. I'm looking for a red spine in my collection right now, and I do not see it, so really happy to add that one to the collection. I'm not even sure if I, if I knew that there was a Ridge Racer. Was this a launch title? Let me know in the comments below. Ridge Racer. Uh, this one was a bit heartbreaking, Crash, uh, Crash Team Racing. She said that the box had been picked through. Whoever picked through it didn't do a very good job, but maybe they took the loose version of this. I don't know. But I'll hold on to the case. Uh, cool one here. This is Enchanted Arms, a uh, one of the few 360 RPGs. Um, this is From Software, actually. Ubisoft and uh, From Software, for, uh, the uh, Dark Souls people. And it comes with the uh, graphic novel, limited edition graphic novel. And it reads the Japanese way, that's cool. Uh, Civ Revolution, uh, Warriors Orochi, which I don't believe I have. So I think I'm gonna add a bunch of games to my 360 collection today, which is pretty sweet. <coughs> yeah, so all that with the graphic novel for 20 bucks. Oh, there was one DS game, too. Uh, where did I put that? It's in a loose case. This is Pokemon Dash, which I don't think I own on the, uh, on the DS. I don't think I have that game. But unfortunately, it's just loose. So, yeah, good deal for 20 bucks. All right. Where do I go? Move this over. Okay, so I approached the sale this morning. Elderly couple. Uh, just another case of, you know, another time where I, I need to tell you again that you never skip a sale. Um, there was no reason to believe that, that these people would have any video games, um, let alone a Super Nintendo and a PS3 with a ton of games. They've got a Wii somewhere in their house and they still got an NES. That's originally, he said NES. He could not find it. Um, but I said, okay, I'll come back in 20 minutes. He was looking and looking. Then they did that. We can't find it. Can you leave your number? And I was like, he's, uh, I was like, you know, I really appreciate you looking. Um, why don't we come back in 20 minutes? If you wouldn't mind just looking a little bit longer, uh, because I would never hear from them again if I got, gave them my number, which he was totally fine with. Uh, we came back 15 minutes later and it was sitting out on the table. So if anyone had come up, they definitely would have scooped this up. So we found a Super Nintendo with four games. I'm going to go through the PS three stuff first. He originally told me that he wanted $10 per game and $80 for the PS3. I hit him with an offer of a hundred bucks for all this stuff. He had the PS2 there too, but I didn't really want that. So I said, I can give you a hundred bucks just for this stuff without the PS2. Um, I was pretty sure they weren't going to take that, but he came back at 120. Um, and for all the games here on PS3, and I've been selling, I've been uh, flipping PS3s for 80 bucks. So I found a few over the first three gr couple garage sales for like 15 to 20 bucks with some games, and I've been um, flipping them for 80 bucks. So I'm sure I'll get my money back on the PS3 stuff uh, by itself. So they had a copy of uh, New Super Mario Bros. 3 complete in great condition on the uh, Nintendo Wii. Uh, full Auto 2. We got Full Auto 1 on the 360 earlier. Uh, FIFA, FIFA Soccer 10, Motorstorm, Burnout Paradise. You're gonna, you're gonna sense a theme here. Half these games were bought again, uh, used, and never opened. Like these are all sealed from uh, GameStop when they sell you used games. Uh, so yeah, Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is Need for Speed Carbon, Midnight Club Los Angeles. FIFA Soccer 11. It was like an older European man. This, this couple was easily in their 70s. Uh, 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa with the Vuvuzelas. Remember those? Um, I grabbed two PS2 games. Burnout 3, Burnout 2, Point of Impact. Don't mind my boys up there. Uh, apparently dribbling basketballs. I asked them if they could keep it down, but uh, they never do. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Episodes from Liberty City. Uh, this is GTA 5. Again, sealed. Need for Speed Undercover, sealed. I should have used that in my negotiations that you never actually even played these games. Need for Speed Shift. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. 
Motor Storm Apocalypse. Uh, this is kind of a cool find here. Oh, not even in there. Maybe that one's in the PS3. Ooh, yeah, no, okay. Um, PS3 is region free from what I remember. This is a European version of uh, Wipeout HD Fury. Uh, IL, IL2 Strom Stromovic. I never know how to pronounce that. If it's IL2 or IL2, let me know. Grid. Need for Speed The Run. And Need for Speed Pro Street. So clearly loves his racing games. But he said that he hadn't played it in a few years. Okay, so we got the PS3, two controllers. Again, elderly gentlemen. I'm assuming that these are in quite good condition. They look cosmetically totally fine. They just need to be cleaned up. Happy to find two controllers so I can save one for another bundle. And then a PS3 Slim has not been opened up. I still am not sure how to check the hard drive size on these without actually turning it on. Oh, it's really gunked up. I'm going to have to blow it out, but uh, pretty confident that this will work. I had one PS3 that didn't work this year, but it was one that I paid 10 bucks for, so uh, not too bad. Okay, so that is the PS3 stuff. We've also got a Super Nintendo with two controllers right there, all the cords, and four games. Super Mario, uh, Super Mario World. Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, and Tetris and Dr. Mario. So some really good games there. I, uh, yeah, so 120 bucks for all that stuff. I left my number. Um, they were pretty happy with the 120, so I if, I think if they find anything else, hopefully they'll, they'll give me a text of, of what they have. So 120 bucks for that stuff. Very good deal there. Okay, next. All right, so I uh, asked if they had video games and the girl said that she has some old Nintendo and she said it's in the drawer, in that drawer is what she said. So I was like, oh, maybe it's a Game Boy. But now I understand what she meant by drawer. I've never actually come across one of these, but I'm pretty sure this will like yeah, it's got little names for everything, uh, controllers, controller cords, controllers, it's pretty cool, it's like a compartment and it tells you where everything goes, like the zapper fits in there perfectly, and then I'm totally going to use this. This is something that like eventually if I ever do get a cottage, I'll bring this up with another Nintendo. And then it's got a slot for a bunch of games, okay maybe it doesn't fit the system, it doesn't look like it does fit the system. What is happening? I don't know what piece of wood. Um, we've got a bunch of cords. I didn't actually get the Nintendo. She said the Nintendo was at, I don't know, her mom's or something. But there's two controllers here. It looks like a third party power adapter. Uh, one of these old gross RF things. Um, yeah. So I initially hit her with a $10 offer and she's like, oh no, I don't know if my brother actually wants to sell them. So I'm like, okay, I definitely went too low there. Uh, so she's like, ah, maybe I should ask my brother. I'm like, oh, how about 20? And she's like, okay. So she just wanted me to go up, I guess. But um, we've got like eight games here. Little League Baseball, Gyromite. As I mentioned, one of like the weight gyro things is in here. First time I've ever seen one of those. There's two zappers in there. Uh, Ninja Gaiden. The Little Mermaid. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game with a big 35 on the back. Must have been a rental, I'm assuming. That's going to be a fun sticker to get off. Uh, two copies of Mario Bros, but like the original without Duck Hunt. That's interesting. And a copy of Double Dragon. So pretty good games. Uh, 20 bucks, a whole bunch of sleeves, which I'm happy to see. The uh, sleeves I usually... I'm, I'm getting close to having a sleeve for every one of my NES games. And so that's like 400 and something. Or I'm close to 500 now, I think. Uh, so great deal there for 20 bucks. Pretty happy with that. I'm going to have to, I think, refurbish this a little bit. 
Um, I guess maybe the system would go on top. I don't know. Okay, and then the final pickup was uh, I, I, I start. I, I gotta stop saying I went to a sale. Um, I asked. There was a lady with a bunch of girl toys. A lady. She's probably my age or a bit younger, actually. Um, and I asked if she had games. She said my husband has some, but he's not here, and I'm not sure if he wants to sell them. Um, so most people would go, okay, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, so I say, you know, are you willing to bring them outside and I can make you an offer on it? And she said, I think my husband's on his way home. <clears throat> She's like, let me give him a call. So I'm like, okay, thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, so she calls him up and I could hear her on the phone. She's like, oh yeah, he's waiting here. Are you much, are you going to be much longer? And then she gets off the phone and she's like, okay, he's on his way. He's just down the street. I go down the street to another sale where Matt and the boys are, uh, which they're buying a few little things. And I hear somebody say, uh, yeah, I'm looking for, I'm looking for old games. That's all he said. I'm looking for old games. Um, and they're like, like video games? And he's like, yeah. And they're like, oh, no, nothing like that. So he leaves. And I'm like, Matt, do me a favor and get back there uh, to that house. Because I was paying for stuff for the boys. Um, so I finish paying. And I see the guy walking over. And then I look. I'm like, oh, Matt must be up there. I'm like, no, Matt's 10 feet from where he was before. And the guy's ahead of him. So quickly, the guy hits another sale. And I'm like jogging back to that person's house. And uh, as I got there... Um, they were pulling it out onto the front porch. So he had, I think I got it on camera. He had a uh, uh, Nintendo, an NES, and a PlayStation. In hindsight, I should have asked him if he had PlayStation games, but I didn't see anything there. Uh, so I just said, I can offer you 30 bucks for the Nintendo. He thought about it for a little bit, and right before I was going to say, how about 40 because he was kind of hemming and hawing about it, he said, okay, 30 is fine. So 30 bucks for all this stuff. Uh, we've got... Throw these sleeves down there. Could it be any louder? Um, Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White. Super Mario Bros. 3. This is Total Recall. Double Dragon 2. Mario Brothers slash Duck Hunt. We've got Bad News Baseball. We've got a lot of Nintendo stuff this year. Probably the best game of the bunch is uh, Prince of Persia. Do I have Prince of Persia? Does anybody else have to say the alphabet in their head when they're looking at... Uh, I had to go LMNOP. Prince of Persia looks like I do have that, but it came with the manual. That's kind of cool. Pro Wrestling. Um, this is Bases Loaded, also known as Jalico. Oh, that's going to have to be wiped down. This is RBI Baseball. Friday the 13th with the manual. He did say, uh, clearly I didn't take very good care of it, which helped me out. Track and Field. Because then the next thing I said was like, oh, I'm sure you probably don't know if it works. Uh, Spy vs. Spy. One of the few games I had as a kid. Uh, I rarely come across this on uh, ever, ever in, in, at garage sales. Um, I'm actually going to probably play that tonight. Spy vs. Spy. I really enjoy that game. Uh, a Boy and His Blob. Trouble in Blob... Blobonia? Blobolonia. I am going for a nap after this. Um, this is Super Spike V-Ball with the manual. And the last game here is uh, Yoshi. And we've got another one of these cases, but it's definitely not worth not worth saving. That's the third one of these in two weeks. We've got another one right here. I believe, yeah, this is the one I'm going to keep. I should really hold on to one of each of these. This one's in decent condition. I kind of wish that I showed the gray one last week. That's the first time I've ever seen the gray one. Uh, yeah, so 30 bucks. Uh, let's see if there's a bonus game. This thing is filthy. Bonus game. Nothing. No bonus game. And all the cords were there. Two controllers, zapper, and the power cord. So, uh, great deal for 30 bucks. Really happy. Uh, today was a pretty fantastic day. Um, lots of people had games. I just, I, I there was definitely a, a couple people that I couldn't convince to bring them out. And as you guys know, I... I pressed pretty hard but like I say I, I push hard but uh, it's walking that fine line of um, 
pressing, but uh, not being a jerk. So all in all, a very good day at the garage sales. It, uh, like I said, I don't even think we hit 20% of the sales that were listed in our area. So I, uh, I'm excited to see what everyone else got. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram. Go follow Matt's channel. It's in the description below. And until uh, the next episode.